Haunted hotels have a way of making people nervous, and this Shanley Hotel is no different. The Shanley Hotel has built a reputation as the most haunted hotel on the East Coast, requiring guests to sign a waiver if they wish to stay. It's located in the quiet town of Navinock, New York. The hotel sits at the center of the Shawangunk Mountains. In addition to its 35 rooms, the hotel has a hidden chamber located in the basement. Its most notable feature, however, stands to be the number of paranormal phenomena reported on the property. A lot of people seem to think the backstory of the hotel may have to do with the reported supernatural occurrences. When his family immigrated to New York City from Ireland, James Shanley and his brothers found success in opening restaurants and hotels across the country. He moved upstate and discovered the beauty of the hotel and the town of Napanock. He purchased the hotel for his own on October 1, 1906. Mr. Shanley gave it his own touch by adding a bowling alley, a billiard room, even a barber shop to the building. James' success brought prestige to the community, but it wasn't simply his ability to produce revenue that made the people of Napanock love him. He was a good man with a kind heart and an outgoing personality. People naturally were drawn to him, including the lovely Beatrice Rowley. The two were married at the Shanley Hotel on April 26, 1910, and took off to the nation's capital to enjoy their honeymoon. When the newlyweds returned from Washington, D.C., they were met not only by a parade welcoming them home, but also a skimmerton. The Skimmerton party typically included most anything that makes a loud noise from cowbells to clanging pots, and the young men of the community would gather at the new home of the bride and groom and continue to make a clamor until the groom either invited them in to celebrate or tossed salt at them to go away. It was a grand celebration that night that would signal a grand future for the young couple, that is, until tragedy after tragedy befell the family. Beatrice loved children and dreamed of having a large family with her beloved James. On January 6, 1912, she gave birth to their first daughter, Kathleen. The poor soul only lived a little shy of six months. She would go on to give birth to two more children, James Shanley Jr., who lived four and a half months, and William Shanley, who died a little over nine months. Her broken heart can still be felt within the walls of the haunted Shanley Hotel. Many guests have witnessed a woman in period dress wandering through the hallways. She was also known for her fragrant perfume, and several people have suddenly smelled the glorious scent that many believe to be Mrs. Shanley nearby. Is she still looking for her children, or perhaps she is still mourning the loss of her sister? She was very close with her sister Esther, who was a notable beauty with a kind heart. As much as Esther loved her sister, she dearly missed her friends and family she had left behind in New York City. It is said that every day she would wait beside the mahogany telephone booth waiting for her friends to ring back from home. Esther met a sudden end at the hands of influenza in 1891, leaving her grief-stricken sister to raise two little girls. Tragedy was not limited to the Shanley family. The barber, Peter Greger, whom James had hired, lived in the Shanley Hotel with his family. His youngest daughter, Rosie, was only three years old when she met a horrible demise. The little girl had wandered across the road to the Hornbeak Farm, where she lifted a wooden slab and peered into the covered well. Losing her balance, Rosie toppled into the well, striking her head up on the rocks as she fell, and it killed her. Her spirit is said to be seen wandering. According to report, supernatural activity has since been reported in every corner of the hotel. There is even a section of the property that once belonged to Speakeasy and Brothel during the Prohibition era, what many claim remains to be the most haunted. To date, there have been several other deaths that followed that tragedy, some accidental, others by murder, and many people have been reported missing. 
paranormal investigators have also reportedly confirmed there is funny activity going on in the Bordello or brothel. There, guests have been said to have experienced shortness of breath and extreme shifts in emotions from joy to sadness upon entering the area. Other bizarre reports were also made surrounding the Shanley Hotel, such as footsteps from which people believe are made from the original owner James, and whistles, sounds of non-visible children laughing, and objects moving all by themselves. <laughs>